All right, after horse playing around, I got it all cleaned off. Gonna have to jack up the temperature of my oven a little bit, but while I'm at it, let's put the meat thermometer in there. I'm going for the thick part of the breast. That ought to do all right. Yeah, I need to crank up my stove just a little bit. <clears throat> that opened it up quite a bit. My redneck way of adjusting the temperature. I know what's the matter. It needs more charcoal. I think I shook that before I dumped it in there. I'd have ashes all over the barbecue. Okay. Mr. Turkey, what is your temperature? Hadn't registered yet. Got to pick up the transmitter. Fifty nine degrees. Mr. Turkey is fifty nine degrees internally. So we know it's not frozen, it's thawed out. We're getting there, buddy row. Time to go drag out another uh, bag of charcoal. Beautiful breeze here this afternoon. My turkey's internal temperature is up to 92 degrees. We're getting there, and I'd have to say Walter's cooking skills. I'm fixing to tell a story. You better get your coffee ready. I have to say Walter's cooking skills have improved somewhat since my college days. I didn't finish college, but I started having the sufficient funds to be there is the only thing that got me out of there. That's when an army tried to draft me and I wound up in the Navy. But my cooking skills has improved somewhat in the last umpteen million years. Um, what am I talking about? Well, I'm cooking on a big old smoker out here today. I remember the time when I was cooking on a clothes iron. I'm talking about an iron like you iron your clothes with. Young people today probably don't know what it is to iron your clothes. But back then we did. And one of the few utensils I took with me when I went to Orlando, Florida was an iron. Me and a friend were rooming together in a 
a, basically just a rooming house is what it was. I've told this story before. Most of you probably haven't heard it. But the old lady that run the place had strict rules. Nobody, no cooking in the rooms. It was like two or three story building with rooms all up and down the hallway. Well, we was hungry. We didn't have no money, didn't have diddly. I scraped up enough money to go down to the grocery store and got me a pack of bologna and a loaf of bread. Brought that back to the room. And it dawned on me I can cook my bologna on the bottom of that iron. I put that up on the linen, the hottest setting I could get, turn the iron up right, throw the piece of bologna on top, and sure as a world I was frying bologna to go on my sandwich. Along about the second or third piece of bologna we was frying, comes this banging on the door. Knock, 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 knock. Knock, 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 open this door. Somebody's cooking in there. I know you're cooking in there. I can smell it. Somebody's cooking in that room. And uh, scared the hell out of me. Uh, opened up the dresser drawer, unplugged the iron, threw it, the bologna and everything, and on top of some of my clothes, slammed the drawer. <laughs> we squirted some men's cologne all over the dang room. Well, within a minute or so, we opened the door and said, we're not cooking in here. You can see a little smoke drifting around in there. I know you're cooking in here. I said, maybe there's somebody down the hall. We're well, not cooking in here. She went off down the hall looking for somebody cooking, banging on every door in the room, in the place. Somebody's cooking in here. <laughs> oh boy, I'll tell you what. Now that was cooking back then. You ain't lived until you fry the bologna sandwich on the bottom of a clothes iron. I don't know why I thought about sharing that with you. Anyway, temperature jumped up to 95 while I'm sitting here talking to you. I got, got to get a little ways farther before she's done. Oh, and I should add, the turkey's looking really good. I'm going to give you a peek at it in case I burn it later or something. All right, viewers, let me show you something purdy. Downright purdy. Temperature's getting a little too high. I'm gonna have to adjust that. Look at that. Oh boy. Make your mouth water. Walter Walter, the practical joker cooked a turkey on an Oklahoma smoker. On that there is no debate. When it was done, he soon had it ate. Said, man, oh man, that was oh so fun. <laughs>